What's up, you guys? Let me with a new video today. I'm here to bring you guys finally another episode of Damn, I miss this deck. And this is gonna be the last video for me for 2016. As you guys know, a uh, couple hours we're gonna be in 2017. So I thought I'd end the year actually making a video. Um, 2017, I'm gonna just tell you, uh, as everyone knows, I've become a much more competitive player these last couple months coming back into the game. And I plan to go to pretty much every YCS, as many regionals as I can. And I'm just, you know, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for some credentials. So uh, stay tuned for that. There will be, of course, a lot more regular videos. And, you know, it'll be a great year. I promise you that. Uh, but, anyways, I wanted to bring, uh, I wanted to end the year on a high note with uh, a deck we all know all too well. And that is Billy Breaks, a uh, back to back YCS Toronto, YCS Columbus 2011 uh plant synchro deck uh one of probably the, one of the most infamous decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, one of the most fun decks to play in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, and without a doubt probably one of the most skilled decks to play in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, because the ceiling for this deck is so high the plays you can do is just insane it is what made tour guide from the underworld the card that it is a lot of people you know did when this card first came out people kind of ignored it they didn't really think anything of it sangin was crazy um it was just a bunch of crazy stuff and it was a deck that really you know, in the top 32, you would see at least 20 of these decks easily because that's how good the deck was. Without was without a doubt one of the best decks. During the time Agents had just been released was another powerhouse. As you guys can see, there are cards like in the side deck and in the main deck that you might not recognize. You might think, huh, what are those doing in there? But I'll get into that. So anyways, we're going to get into the list. Um, what I do have here, Billy Break did play 41 cards. The reason why there's all these other cards starting here at the extra max C is the differences between his YCS Toronto list and his YCS columbus list so i'll explain those as we go along so let's start to the main deck for the monsters one bls self-explanatory the card is insane one gores one kaius kaius is just a solid card solid removal um you know it does it's not hard to distribute you know a dandelion token or anything so you could just you know get over stuff distributing monsters is just good two thunder kings it basically shut down the whole format this card was just broken being able to bait out xyz's bait out synchros you know in addition to just locking them from searching their deck was crazy three reborn tangu the card just like never died one debris dragon part of the plant engine basically three tour guide and one sangin Self-explanatory, tutors out Sangin, makes rank threes. Uh, the plan engine, Lone Fire, Dandelion, uh, Spirit Reaper, Billy played Reaper because it was just a really good card against agents. They had a hard time getting around it if they didn't have Hyperion or whatever. Uh, it could just wall up against decks that you, you know, if you didn't draw like the outs immediately, it, it gave you like a stall tactic to you did. Uh, and two max C's, the last of the plan engine, one spore, one glow bulb, and two Valors. His hand traps were two max C, two Valor. Just good against overall the meta. Max C is just a, a really good card. The differences he made uh, in the monster lineup was, uh, this was uh, from Toronto in Columbus. He played a third Maxi in the main deck. He played a second Caius, and he cut a Valor uh, from the deck, and he also cut the Call of the Haunted. So those were the differences in the main deck. Uh, monster wise um on the spells a one one for one tutor out uh like glow bulb spore you know just any of your you know your level one guys uh yeah it, it was just crazy so yeah a heavy mind control dark hole pot of avarice foolish reborn double typhoon book of moon he also played these last cards scapegoat and enemy controller these cards are crazy scapegoat was just a way to you know not only like stall out but also a way to combo with enemy controller tripping in a scapegoat taking one of your opponent's monsters either synchroing with it or you know xyzing with it or something like that it was just crazy econ could just win so many games um, and for the traps, a uh, one torrential, one trap dust shoot, one call, uh, one solemn judgment, and two solemn warnings. So that was his main deck from YCS Toronto on his first win. On his second win, the difference is, like I said, he main deck a third max C. Uh, he caught a Valor for it. He mained a Caius. He caught a Call of the Haunted for it. Those were the differences uh, in the two decks uh, between the two the two wins. Now on to the extra deck. The nice thing about this extra deck, it did not change the entire time. Uh, he played the exact same cards for both YCSs. Uh, a plant deck was very basic. You just had your basic synchros, all good one of synchros, and the few XYZs that you would play. Um, you know, if the you know to make to make more use out of tour guide besides searching Sangin. So uh, one Trishula, one Scrap Dragon, one Stardust, one Black Rose Dragon, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Brianek, one Orient, one Librarian, one Cataster, one Army Arm, one Formula. The XYZs were one uh, Utopia, one Roach. One and the rank threes were Leviathan and Levier. 
Uh, onto the side deck. So the side deck he played in Toronto is down here. It was double Cyber Dragon combo with the Chimera attack. Uh, two DD Crows, good against plants, good against uh, just anything you need, just, you know, that's graveyard dependent, good against Dark World, stuff like that. Uh, two Leeching the Light. This was a card that Billy made famous. Uh, against Agents, it's just an amazing card. It was just a blowout. You just win every time you activate it. Uh, the third Mystical Space Typhoon, back row decks. Uh, two Mind Crush. This was something that he changed. He said that he just didn't like the card. He was citing it in against Agents and later on he just stopped so uh, this was a card that ended up coming out of his side deck uh, for YCS Columbus uh, two bottomless this was also a thing he changed to two D prisons he played a one chain disappearance one dust and a debunk debunk was just a really versatile card you can use it to hit maxi you can use it to hit uh, plants you know anything kind of just like mirror match wise or even against dark worlds because for YCS Columbus the second one that he won um, Dark Worlds had just come out, so as you guys can see, the differences in the side deck, he accounted for that, and these were the cards that were like included. Uh, so he added the third Thunder King for Columbus, a card which is really, really solid. He wanted a fourth Thunder King, so he added a Doom Caliber Knight. Uh, people would say, you know, that card was bad because they could just Valor or they could Maxi and it would kill the Doom Caliber Knight, but he said that's fine because... Um, because, uh, you could just negate it. He said that's fine because then you get it out of the way. So made sense. Uh, the Dark World Hate was two Gemini Imps, uh, two Shadow Mirrors, two D Prisons, and a Debunk. Uh, all these cards are really good against Dark World. This like shut down all their you know Dark World dealings, drag down to the grave. This was if they you know you, it was just better because you know the Grapha attack you just banish it, it's gone. Debunk was just good because it was cards that activate in the hand or graveyard. You could just and you banish them. That was really really good against Dark World. And Shadow Mirror shut down the entire deck. So those were the changes he made to make uh you know just the matchup better if he did play against dark world so yeah that's it you guys back from 2011 one of the probably the best players in the game billy break four-time ycs champion is just crazy to say um yeah this deck really will stand the test of time is definitely one of the most uh probably one of the most played decks one of the most recognized decks and probably one of the most skilled formats because the mirror match took a lot of skill you had so many plays i i urge you to play this deck if you do play a ygo pro or whatever to test this deck out like in the unrateds in the no ban list whatever it is because you'll really see like all the plays you could do with this deck it was just crazy how you know good this deck was and how like every list was only a couple cards off like there weren't too many things you could do to make the deck different and that's what i think was really cool that's what really shows how good a deck um plants was because it stood the test of time and very few changes were made over the course that the deck was out but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this deck uh deck profile uh this damn i miss this deck episode if you did be sure to smash that like button 50 plus likes would be awesome let me know what decks you would like to see in the new year the featured here if you have any suggestions please leave them down below be sure to follow me on social media if you ever have deck ideas or anything you'd like to see on the channel feel, feel free to message me there i always try to respond to everybody i'm pretty good at that uh facebook's probably the best place to get me all that stuff you'll see in the outro and in the description so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it shout out to billy billy's a good homie of mine i'm um, just crazy you know this is back when you know he just back to back with basically the same deck it's crazy so i really think uh, you guys will enjoy this episode i hope you do and be sure to comment about if you remember playing this format if you remember playing this deck and what you really liked about it like what you felt it brought to the table that other decks didn't because i felt that was what separated plants from all the other decks is that it was built so well it brought so much to the table that basically the sky was the limit with the decks so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to smash that like button i'll see you guys in the next video happy new year you guys thank you for watching